The truth is I'm just built different. Hello, and today I'm gonna to be going over how I find processes to automate in people's businesses. It's been a pretty common question that's been asked in my Discord, which is free, you can join through the course below, but it's actually, how do I find the tasks to automate in people's business? Now, the real answer is my brain's just wired that way. But if we're being serious, as soon as I get on the phone with someone, as soon as I walk into a business or hear about someone's business, I'm constantly looking for ways that things can be automated. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through the key factors that I run my decision making through of how I actually find these tasks. The first thing I factor in is when I'm looking at someone's business, what tasks do I already know how to automate? A restaurant I work with phoned me up the other day asking me, hey Matt, we're having a lot of people book in but not show up to their bookings. Can you help? I said, absolutely I can. And here's how I would do it. I would add a calendar widget to their website. Every time a customer books in, a confirmation text message would be sent out to the customer and also to the business owner. In three hours before the booking, I would send a reminder text message and also give them the option to reschedule or cancel. That way it's prompting the customer to take action if they're not coming. Otherwise, it's assumed that they are. Now, this would all be run through Go High Level, but I would just slam a calendar widget onto their page. I've done it before and I can do it again. And it's relatively simple for me to set up. The text message sequences would be relatively easy. It's just a matter of plugging it all in and addressing the messages to the right people. The main thing with this is I knew exactly how to do it because I've spent time in GHL. And I've spent time building calendars, automated sequences. I just knew that I could do it and I could say it with total utter confidence. This then leads me into the second thing I think about when I am looking to automate tasks. It's how often does this occur? I've spoken to business owners in the past about automation and prescribed them a fix and told them that this is an incredible solution. It's going to be great for them only to have them laugh at me. They said, why would I pay so much for something that happens once a month and takes me three minutes? I was kind of stumped and kind of licking my wounds a little bit. And I just wanted to show them how cool the automation was. It was going to save them so much time. When in reality, I liked the automation and I thought I'd done something really cool. However, it didn't really benefit the business owner. No. They had bigger problems and I was solving a very, very small one. So now instead of looking for one-offs that have a cool automation, I look for the best automation that is going to save the business owner the most amount of time before I even pitch it to them. And the way that I do that is asking really good questions about what takes up their day. That then leads into number three, how big of an issue is the task? When I'm working with clients, I want my work to be incredibly valuable. I want to take hours out of their day. I want to eliminate user error and I want to create an incredible experience for their customers. So when I'm trying to find tasks, I'm looking for the things that take up the most amount of time possible of the staff members or the CEO of the business. A CEO of a seven figure fitness company that was actually my first client was telling me about his onboarding process before we started working together. A client signs up, they sent their onboarding information, they then sent a contract, they then sent a form for them to fill out and then a welcome pack as well. This process then the coach would go back and forth getting all the relevant documents filled out and signed. It could take up to 10 days at times for then the client to start coaching with them. As soon as I heard him say this, I knew in my head that there's so many things there that could be automated and get their clients starting so much quicker than 10 days. The first thing I automated was the contracts. The second thing I automated was the onboarding welcome pack. Now everything happens in succession and clients get onboarded within a day. Now this has been a game changer for his business. His coaches can focus on coaching people and taking on more clients and it's allowed them to scale so much faster than if they were waiting 10 days for one client to get started. In conclusion, automation has to become second nature to you. As soon as you hear about a business, you should be looking for ways you can solve problems using the skills that you have. Looking for the biggest domino to knock down, the biggest problem, the biggest issue, the biggest task to solve is going to be your best bet and doing this more regularly will give you more information to then apply to future customers. The more tasks you automate, the clearer things around you will become. If you need help with your marketing, feel free to book in a call with me through the link below. If you want to join a group of 70 and growing everyday people who are looking to build automation as a, as a company, as an agency, uh, then follow the free course in my bio uh, and join the Discord link. Bye.